This is a 2004 Renault Megane classic. And today I'm going to show you the quirks and features. You might be wondering why I would shoot a video on an old car like this. It's a very good question. The answer is, it's all I could afford. What is it that 10 million pesos can buy you? Now this car, while it's a Renault and it's a French car, was actually made in Medellin, Colombia. Yes, that's right. They make many different types, makes and models vehicles right here in Colombia. Now this one, France stopped making somewhere in the late 90s, maybe 1998. But as you can see, Colombia carried on production up to and past 2004. So is there anything special about this car? El carro mantiene bajo techo, vidrios eléctricos, a la cojinería. Este sí está un poquito desgastado. Falta la tapita ahí atrás del stop. Well, let's first start with a walk around the car. Here in the front, you'll see an interesting but unique grill built into the hood. Yeah, it's a matter of taste. Personally, I think it's kind of butt ugly. And you'll see it has a license plate. The plate goes with the car, so it will have this plate until it dies. Now, in this car in particular, being inexpensive you'll see it has some issues like this issue but there were some pleasant surprises it came with four new tires and you can see it's a classic and as a matter of fact if you look at the roof line of this car kind of reminds you of a general motors car bit of stolen design maybe if we come around to the back You can see a broken light. But since there's no pieces missing and it's just cracked, it'll pass inspection. So aside from a few dings and dents and the paint's not the best in the world, it's passable, it's presentable. Now we go to the inside, and it needs a washing. The people that had this before must have transported a flock of pigs. Or is that a herd of pigs? 
So I had to, it was one of my first duties, get new upholstery. And it's new padding and you can see it has the Grand Columbia logo in it front and back under $200 here's your Renault badge it's typical it has a steering wheel cover that makes it very fat in the hand it has pieces and parts that kind of just come off on their own. It has a radio with a missing knob that may or may not work. And it has a few other trim issues going on with it. But it is now my car. We'll get it cleaned up and have some Grand Columbia adventures.